Hi everyone and welcome. This is the action planning webinar for July 2020 with some amazing leaders who just had the opportunity to experience Train the Trainer from the perspective of our new consultant orientation. Today what I'm going to do, forgive me, I'm not going to have a lot of sharing time because we added the extra Train the Trainer piece today. So I put together a lot of information leaders want to know and to help you plan for the month. So as you're here today as a leader live or listening to the recording, this is your time to really pause, not just go through the action brochure. That's not the purpose of action planning. It's to pause and look at your calendar. Do you have your schedules mapped out to achieve the goals of earning what you want in the action brochure and influencing achievers as well? So looking at your calendar is key to be here. Don't just take notes. Have your calendar and plan it. This is planning your action, setting your goals. So make sure you've got your brochures, your action if you have it, your calendar. Really, really key. And if you did not print the regional calendar, please do. Um, you have it in your email. It was updated the last week of July because of the virtual University, there was a lot of moving parts to it, so we did add in a couple of changes. So I will also update that in Facebook today. So let me take you to share screen really quick as we get ourselves ready with our leader updates for the month. So again, thank you. Thank you for joining us live. Thank you for listening. Um, this is your time to plan your success. As you can see with the action this month, um, we've got a lot ahead for a really exciting quarter three. Before we move to quarter three, I always want to honor what happened as we ended quarter two for 2020. In the month of June, we had 75% of our leaders achieve their number of orders goal. Every month, our strive to is 63%. It's how I always honor 63 years. We've been doing that for a year. And I am so proud to say that every single month, the entire quarter two, we achieved over 70% of the leaders achieving their number of orders goals. That's rock star. Congratulations. We will have some team fun on our regional meeting on Wednesday at 5 p.m., so stay tuned for that. We also were number two in the nation for the percentage of the number of leaders achieving their goal. So congratulations to that. I always want to give you understandings of the markets from our general market English to the Hispanic. We had 38% of our active consultants ordering. When you look at your reports, you will see your percentage of active consultants, how many are active and how many ordered. So with our region, now this was actually, believe it or not, one of the lowest months of the active ordering. We had 38%, the Hispanic market had 58%. Our average retail per consultant is $195, and in the Hispanic market, it's 262. So what we see is people placing smaller orders, um, as you can see, and less frequently. So again, I always do that because I wanna teach you to analyze your reports. What is your average retail order when you export your reports and you work with your Excel? As we start a new coaching program coming up, we'll be working with your reports this way for quarter three. So you'll see more about that coming. Overall, the Amber Region results for number of orders, you were number three out of 11. Oh, you really smoked first place for about three months straight. And at the very end, I'm so proud of the Hispanic market, really, really striving and driving social media. They had a lot of catching up on Zoom and you know what, they did it. Uh, nothing makes me happier than great success. And the overall company had amazing growth over 2019 and achieving our budget goals that I'm sure Houdith will announce to leaders later, but we definitely are ringing that bell. So I love when we all succeed. Our goals achieving uh, was again, um, sorry, where am I here? 3,306 number of orders is what we needed, and look what you did, 4,489. That's 1,000 orders over the goal. So Amber Region, congrats, we'll be celebrating more on Wednesday. Don't worry about all the words, I just wanna give you some top spotlights. I wanna celebrate those who achieved both the tray and the brushes. Evelyn Abernathy, woohoo! Jackie Elves, Sylvia, she's with us, Miss Sylvia Morris-Pine. 
Jane Benson, Montori Briggs, uh, Katia Castro, Tina Clearfield, Susanna Cruz, Jamelyn Cruz, Jacenia Cruz, um, sorry, I put Jamelyn twice, Evelyn Dadas, uh, we have Brenda Escobar, Evelyn Fillenworth, Sylvia Gaona, uh, Jade Gillespie, Vicki Hoover, Renita Howard, Norma Lopez, Christina Medina, Denise Miller, Deloria, there you are, Almandirsa, uh, Mondesir, sorry, Rosa Silva, uh, Eva Thomas, Annette Tomlinson, Chris, Chris Uribe, Hannah Wachter, and Rachel Yangling. Congratulations to all of you. You can see our top sponsors in yellow with three hitting national recognition. Norma and Jackie, congratulations, Arizona. And those with four, many promoting to manager. Denise and Jade, Sylvia, uh, Evelyn, Jane Lynn, and Tina. Congratulations to our top consultants and leaders. Overall, the Amber Region was number eight of 11 ah, after being number one for three months. But you know what? Again, how cool was it to see that all the regions really catching up and blowing our numbers out of the water for growth? So that was exciting. And our goal was 300. We ended with 211. We got 70% to the goal. 108 were sponsored by consultants. Consultants are beating the leaders. Uh, with 103 sponsored by leaders with 299 leaders. So leaders, I'm gonna challenge you all to start sponsoring two or more every single month, our business model, which is what university is all about. So we had 27 earn the tester tray and brushes. Congratulations to all of you. We also grew the consultant base in the English market by 876, which is exciting. Out of that, we had 202 of our 211 new consultants activated their accounts with orders. We had 587 who came from a P or an I, pre and active or an active that reactivated. And then we lost 677 <laughs> who went inactive. So at least the good news is uh, we were able to grow by 800. So again, just a keynote, why do I look at that? This is what you wanna constantly be looking at in your reports. How many pre-inactives, inactives, ends for never activated, do you have and what's your goal to get them active? Retention and new is always the name. So you want new, you wanna keep them active. This is key if you're a director or district manager, are you setting these types of goals and looking at reports with your leaders? Be their coach, be their business guide. So again, here's the great news. We grew the English market active base. Remember our goal is 65,000 in the next 12 months. We grew the English market to 8,792, 8, which is a 1.4% growth last month. Hispanic market houses 31,552 consultants, which is a 2.4% growth last month. So again, I love that we're all growing and they were after kind of a, a loss after four months and it's just great to see success together. So the English market is 22% of the active consultant base. In order to get to 65,000 ladies, it's gonna be a teamwork. We need every leader focused on activating and keeping consultants not going inactive and adding new consultants. It's gonna take 2000 active consultant base growth to be able to grow to 65,000. So we're not at those kind of numbers. So again, what is our goal? We have 299 leaders in the English market. Hispanic has 2513. We are 12% of the leader base. So again, this is our opportunity is growing leaders. The English is 3% of our consultants are leaders. The Hispanic is 8% of their consultants are leaders. So definitely, again, I always look at things as an opportunity to see these numbers tell us a gap. I think Jaffer University is key and we're gonna plan our action planning call on how to make sure we're always growing. So again, I also want to celebrate the quarterly bonus. It was the best quarter of our entire time from 2018 through 2019 ever as Team USA for a quarter, Hispanic and English combined. So we celebrate those who earned $500 with six direct new consultants and nine direct 
indirect consultants achieving their 400 the month they joined or the following month. Remember, you are now starting July through September. This is when goals are set and actions planned. To be on track, that's two direct and five or three, excuse me, indirects a month. Start now, don't try to do it at the end if there's anything I could beg of you. So the key is making sure you look at July calendar. Are you ready for two indirects or more and three indirects or more? That takes a strategy and a plan of action. So again, something really important we'll be coaching on each week um, as we continue the month. But let's look at these achievers. How cool is this? Jack Yelsman, Tori Briggs, Vicki Hacking, Vicki Hoover, Gail Jamison, Cherie Lester, Norma Lopez, Gina O'Neill, Rosa Silva, Chris Uribe, Hannah Wachter, Lisa Washington, Linda Wright, and Debbie Yingling. You guys were rock star. How fun was it the last 10 days of the month watching everything wrapping up? I am so proud to say it was our largest quarter ever. To give you a point of reference, um, again, what I wanted to show you is we were number six of 11 regions with the number of winners. So we saw five different regions go 20 or more, which is super cool. And many of them have maybe 100 liters, not 299. So, I mean, this is just really the focus. This is the it to how you grow sales, grow sponsoring, and grow leaders. Look at this in 2019. We had two winners first quarter, three second, three, third, five, fourth. The quarterly in 2020, we had two in the first quarter and this quarter we had 14. So that is record breaking, but it's only the beginning. The power is five a month. If you are a district, any title or ambassador, this should be the number one goal with your building leaders to make a plan for two direct and three indirect each month. Jackford University will be all about this. So I challenge you as you are here today, planning your month, planning your quarter, planning your weeks and days. How are you as a leader yourself leading by example? Number two, how are you coaching every leader this quarter with recognition for your branch and consultant when this goal is achieved? Tell them it's five a month. I give you our goals and we celebrate. Do the same. People love to be a part of a winning team. Then what is your training? How are you training people to earn the beautiful um, entertaining set? How are you coaching them? How are you setting those team goals? Share the goal and they love the power of success. I know many people do a gift at the end. There's all sorts of things you can do, but it starts with a new quarter and a fresh approach. And I thank many of you. You went to a lot of schooling to learn how to do systems during the month of May and June. And the key is, and you said, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it. And you gave it a great finish and you had many wins. I saw many of you do more direct or indirect than you've ever had. Now go get it all. $500, this one program to me is everything to building a district and helping your leaders achieve their goals. Through that, we had on average 33 new managers uh, during quarter two, during April and May. This month, oh, what do we have? Three, six, nine, I think we had 12. So again, time to get back on track looking for leaders. But I wanna celebrate moving up. We celebrate Chris Uribe back to DM2. Kathy Morasti back to DM2. Oh, sorry, Chris, you were there because we had an inquiry. So you moved up to DM1 actually in July, but she wasn't on the regular report. So you'll see her moving up twice. So congratulations. We also are proud to say Pam Green, a new manager this quarter from New York with Cherie, um, promoted to district manager level one. Jade Gillespie promoted to manager and district manager the same month like we saw last month. So they are earning their first time district manager level one bonuses. And we celebrate our new managers, Denise Miller with Jackie Ells, uh, Jamelyn Cruz with Jade Gillespie, Jade Gillespie with Pam Green. And we celebrate Evelyn Data Datis with Cherie Lester from Florida, Alma Gonzalez uh, from California with Rosa Lopez and Amelia Giran from California with Chris Uribe, first time new leaders, and many of our comeback leaders 
um, that you see listed here with meeting their requirements and requalifying. Congratulations. Great job promoting as well. Um, all of our promoting managers, requalifying leaders. So congratulations to each and every one of you. Many of you earning those bonuses are right on your way to new leaders. I always love to do the quick view um, before we do our whole regional recognition later in the month, but our top 10 sellers. We have Nikki Dansu from Montana with Jan Iverson, just under 2000 and joining her Janet Cower, district manager from Pennsylvania. Look at new manager, Jane Lynn Cruz, with over 2,200. Number seven, Carlon Roberts from Georgia with over 2,400. Taquan Powell from Georgia with over 2,539. Sandra Laurel, uh, Laurie, sorry, from North Carolina with Sally Elliott with over 2,500. Petra Robles, we call her Alicia, from Washington, with Carol Mosby over 2,500. Uh, Tisha Kinney from California with Doris Deer with over 2,800. Linda Hartley with over 4,300, leader from Ohio, and Cherie Lester with over $5,700, district director level two. Congratulations. So as we go into your information, key information today, our focus the month of July is on growth. We'll share more about this um, with the growth of what's happened, celebrating the most incredible growth during April, May, and June. And I hope you pause and reflect back on the growth that you have had, personally, professionally, financially, team goals, personal goals. What did you learn and apply? What did you try and defy? Now we enter the second half of the year, setting new goals for the last six months, just like you did the first six months. The key to growth, self-confidence is the first requisite to great undertakings. You've got to believe in yourself. You can't stay stuck in the rear view mirror or say, I just can't, or I used to, or I should, or I could, or maybe, or I'll try. You can learn everything when you believe. It's got to be 100% open. You can't try and do at the same time. So growth means gathering knowledge. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. That's the key is you and your team. The quarterly bonus is it. Growth means gathering knowledge, working together. Everyone you meet has something to teach you. Ask your leaders to share their experiences. If you're a leader, empower others with what you've learned and involve them in your monthly virtual meetings or weekly coaching session. Learning is a lifelong journey, no matter how much experience you have. I kudo all of you listening to this or attending. You have learned so much this year. And it has been a joy to watch you teach each other. Congrats to you. I couldn't be more proud of this Amber region. Knowledge will set you free. Look at your calendar. Do you have brain time, train time, me time, daily planning and learning and applying? So you've got to map that out. It is a daily process. Learn everything you can. Then make your own decisions. The freedom to be you means you are empowered to create your ideal business. Make a business, make a job for business that is all your own and sets you free. That's why we bring you Jaffra University, Jaffra's newest virtual platform, so you can change the way you do business and coach your team to business. We will be filled with business tips and tricks and specialized training based on the level they are at. This makes your training simple, but the magic is only your follow-up, coaching, and planning with those that attend. Make this the biggest deal. Make them tell you they attended and meet the following day or two after. Invite everyone. You've got to have a communication platform now that you've never had. If it's VIP groups, phone trees, text trees, we've taught you for four months how to do it. No excuses left. You've got to do it to get people to attend. Knowledge is power when it's shared. Keep inviting because your entire team can grow together. Invite them to a new quarter. And no reason for this season to do more, have more, be more. This season is important. If they start playing and practicing right now and they hit fall with holiday season and all of the regiments changing, look out. This is so important the month of July. It's not vacation. It's about exploding the freedom to renew you, 
to be you, to invite others. They can join very easily through Zoom, our normal meeting location. Remember, for us, they're every Tuesday. Pick your consultant level for the appropriate classes or leader level. You can see the schedule in action and it's already posted, believe it or not, July through December in Jaffa Biz events. I, it took me about four and a half hours and you're all loaded for the end of the year. I'll just do a little change to what just happened for a new consultant orientation. They must attend all three to get a diploma. And then we hope they've advanced to the next level. If you're a manager, I hope by the end of that quarter, you're showing up as a DM manager, not repeating and repeating every quarter. Join any time, but it's best to start at the beginning of the quarter. You can see everything in your calendar. This again was sent out, I think it was July 29th. The only thing that wasn't there was the 9 a.m. Jaffa University that was added while I was on vacation. So that will be the first Monday for new consultant orientation, sorry, for Jaffa University. We will change our action planning and goal achieving webinars to 11 a.m. Okay, so um, that will be 11 a.m. Pacific instead of 9 a.m. We'll just keep them consistent. The other change leaders you most want to know is we will now be coaching in groups that align to your training. Managers go at 8.30, district managers at 10, directors and ambassadors only at 11.30. So you will have two times a month for networking, all right? This is a follow-up to university. Even if you haven't had university yet, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be here focused on quarterly bonus and promoting leaders every single quarter. I will also do for district managers, you're gonna have pod coaching groups, district directors. You will also have, those will be on Wednesdays, but they will only be announced to district managers. District directors will have focus Fridays where they can book one-on-one -on -one appointments that they need any specialized uh, goal setting, coaching, or training. So again, all of this will be here, but please print and plan to attend and add yours into that. The joy meetings, as you notice, are rotating. 9 a.m. one week, 5 p.m. With summer, I'm not sure what's best. I'll show you that in a minute. And they may change when I hit August, September. The Hispanic market does nine and five. I didn't find that always to be super effective. So I'm kind of strategizing and uh, trying that. Do not miss the 17th, our final Leadership 101 course with Dana and Neil Phillips. All right. What I wanna update you on, I know this is a lot, but you can print this. For WhatsApp, all leaders will be in the regional WhatsApp group. Those who show up on Mondays for leadership coaching will also be in your own group because it's follow-up to university. Managers will have their own WhatsApp group, district managers, and I already have district directors in their own group. All consultants, I will not do a WhatsApp group. So you need to get your region on Facebook. That's where they can have their community as consultants. And we're gonna keep WhatsApp for leaders a privilege. I will no longer have a WhatsApp for consultants, okay? So I don't feel that leaders need it. I think you should have that with your own teams, but we will use the Amber Region platform, as you saw in new consultant orientation, for them to share, ask questions. That's enough for consultants and WhatsApp will now be reserved for leaders only in the Amber Region. I will be working on that change throughout this week. I also want you to know that the purpose of WhatsApp is for regional and company direct communications. That's why it's only gonna be just for leaders. I don't need to be posting in three or four different groups. I'll post in the leader group, um, Amber Region, and on Facebook, that's it, okay? So that, that's where our goal is to provide you links to meetings. We will share schedules, offers posted by CRT, which always happen at 7 a.m. the next morning, or Pacific Standard Time. It's also a strategy for success. The purpose of our leaders WhatsApp group is to share motivation, inspiration, ideas. It's a place for fast Q&A. When you need help, please go there, but please check the chat search first. 
you've got to use know how to use WhatsApp. I've trained on it for too long. So I'm just gonna not answer your question. I'm gonna say, please go chat search. Because if you do that, you'll find the answer. I wanna minimize how many chats we have to be highly effective. I don't mind, I want us to share. Please don't think you can. But a lot of times we're repeating, repeating the same thing. When you click on the top, you can also, we've been teaching for months how to find it in media, links, and docs. Everything is there. So please, before you quick react, please go ahead and look first. That's all I'm gonna ask. So you start to know how to use that tool. Remember, I teach you to fish, not give you a fish. So I want you to use that so you know how to use it with your team. The chat is also not designed to resolve personal account issues, all right? So Jaffer needs this streamlined. It will keep our chat easier. You typically have to call the 800 number. If we don't have documentation of problems, nothing's going to get better. So you have chat, you have the 800 number, and you have Jaffer Cares. Oh, someone's talking. Please mute. Thank you. So please use that first. Again, we're going to curb the month as challenges. If you have an issue, private message me. You know I'm up until 2 a.m. my time helping you. Private message me and I'll get support if I have it. But let's try to keep that WhatsApp a place where, again, you use the protocol. 800 line, chat line, Jaffer cares. We have extended hours. Try to do all of those last minute things during those extra hours because I cannot get help all the time but I will be there if we need it. And next, when you use Jaffer Cares, I'm not reading all of this, okay? But you will have this slide. This is what Jaffer Cares is for. It's all of these things listed. And when do you need to call CRT and what is their concerns? So all of this tells you the purpose of the 800 number and the purpose of Jaffer Cares. Again, you can't call on behalf of your consultant. So you wanna have this for them as you're the trainer and the coach to show them what they need to call Jaffra for themselves. So we need all of that documented. Otherwise, we're all spending the same minutes. If you've already called Dan and I'm trying to get help, we're just duplicating all of our staff in minutes. So we're just, Hudith has asked all of us to start to follow things so they're documented now that we're kind of a little bit ahead of the schedule, okay? So we've gotten really caught up. So again, this is for you to work with your managers and consultants as well. Contacting CRT first. If it's not resolved, then we could go work with a supervisor and you call in again and ask for that. If that doesn't work, you have the regional me. If that doesn't work, then we go to Rosario. If that doesn't work, of course, at the very end, we would go past that through Rosario and she would go get help from Hudi. So we're just asking everyone to go back to really following clear processes of communication and solving needs. So you will see these in your slides to use with your team. All right, so forgive me because I'm gonna just boogie fast. This is about action planning now, leaders, all right? That was information you most wanna know. What I wanna come back to is how are you gonna plan your month? So we're gonna do the quick click to help you look at your calendar and plan your time. Remember, a dream written down without a date becomes a goal, or sorry, a dream written with a date becomes a goal. What are your goals? Personal sales, personal sponsoring, new clients, hostesses, parties. What's your team goals this month for sales growth, for um, number of new consultants, VIPs, QNCs, promoting? What's your district goals? How do you share them? How do you recognize them? How do you keep everybody on track to achieving them each week like you see us do? A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. As you look at your calendar, what does it look like you're going to achieve? Now plug in the action. See the goals, play, make the plan. The plan then back by daily action will make everything happen. That is key. And this is how you coach your consultants right now to kick off the month and your managers. Grab their details and map out their plan. I'm gonna add one more note leaders need to know. 
starting in August, there will be no more paper order forms in the brochure that gets mailed out by the home office with the action. That is starting in August. They will have to use the virtual copy and print it for themselves. So you are seeing more and more turning to virtual. All right, so just FYI, we'll give you updates on that, but I wanted to tell you early. So let's plan. Who is your future freedom makers? This is a month about freedom, a month of celebrating, a month with a laptop, for goodness gracious. Who do you believe could achieve? You need to invite them to a successful consultant tomorrow, the regional meeting on Tuesday, how many guests they can bring on Thursday. You've got a big week of success. The only way we're gonna get to 65,000 is keeping our consultants active and adding new leaders who bring in new consultants. That's our mission one year from now. I love what Mantori said in the action brochure. Someone who went from DM1 to DD3 in a matter of three months. She said, to grow a team, you must first be a person of integrity. People need to trust you and know you and know you have their best interests at heart. Do what you say you're gonna do so your team knows they depend on you. Call and let them know that you're gonna help people this month. Build a team, build two ways to pay days. Share the freedom, why you've loved the freedom of being a leader. Here was Vicki working um, out in the gorge. What does that tell you? But when was the last time you shared their story and invited them to create their own? As Mentori said, make every team member feel important. Create team spirit by working on projects that will help the team grow together, attending conference, holding virtual parties together like many of you are doing, having team training sessions or follow-up sessions after university, support consultants and Jaffer's online training, encourage consultants to grow by achieving incentives, work on a strategy together. Mentori has meetings every single week with her team to achieve their dreams. That's how she's grown so many leaders, like many of our new directors. So look at your calendar. Do you have a place to invite your future freedom makers, new leaders this month? Jaffra also gives you a way to grow teams with our new business kits. An incredible business kit for her and him, both offered at $181 value for just 39. How are you boosting? How are you telling everyone and inviting people to have their own independence during Freedom Month? We also have the incredible packs. I love how Jaffa just keeps making these product pack pages look beautiful. Look at how now they've divided how you can start selling these products. Who do you sell to like we just did in the new consultant orientation? This is aligned to that orientation training. Really, no consultant joining should ever leave these two packs on the table. Just buying a Defy line alone could be 200 retail. Why not invite them to begin their independence? Save big, but resell for profit. So again, really shifting that this is the it to beginning. And again, Jaffer keeps doing it. We're going to stay strong at $400 at 50% for everyone. Keep that message alive. The best part of your July is your entertaining gifts. Invite a new consultant. When they have $400 this month and they join this month, it's not just 50% in packs, it's this wonderful garden terrace beverage set. How are you gonna get creative going live in your groups? Having maybe opportunity teas, get it, T-E-A-S. And again, being able to intrigue people to have this, to earn this. Why not do early bird? Earn it early. Give them a $5 Starbucks card for tea. You've got to have the opportunity teas if they can't come on Thursday. Could you do one on Monday? And we have the Thursday regional. Have two places because waiting a week is too long. Do them live or in person, patio parties, with opportunities, with back of the hand beauty and business in 30 quick minutes. But really recognizing early bird by the 15th or green by 19. Do you know who's earning this this month? 
Right now, we want to gather their goals and bring the tea time together, the team, T-E-A, together each week to coach to not leave it on the table. Because if you can do one early, maybe this week, they could do four. Do not let anyone miss the four consultants this month for the laptop. This is an incredible gift. You know what? The fragrance portfolio was one of the best sponsoring months in Jaffra. Best in our region ever. And it was because it wasn't just one. Now you must know who is earning it. Get together at least once or twice a week. Have some opportunity times. Brainstorm. And as Mentori said, plan to achieve goals. This is key to your district, your quarter your $500 bonus. You have one laptop earner, you're halfway to the quarterly bonus in the first month. This is absolutely the Freedom Festival we've been talking about. Plan to invite every day, five a day, five a day. I don't care if you've invited them before. Ask your clients, who do you know that knows people that wants quick money, an opportunity to get started? This is critical. So look at your calendar, are you ready? Our joy meeting this month has a very unique focus. I am going to be having new leaders that are between the ages of 20s and 30s. Young moms, too young. Why? Because it's Freedom Month. And we have watched a generation joining so quickly, starting with four and even promoting someone with four the same month. They're all ages. But we're launching this month the new acne line. We will launch it to our summer trip achievers first, along with our stay royal. They will be the first to hear the last week of July at their virtual summer trip event. And that will be a pre-launch, so everyone will be ready. So we want to keep inviting more to our team who are in that market that will sell the new sixth regimen very quickly as well. So we're excited to bring you Ashley Bell this Thursday at 9 a.m. and Chloe Bowden on the 16th at 5 p.m. Two beautiful new leaders who are out there building their teams and they're gonna share their story. So we're also gonna add something new. Anyone with four or more guests this month at any JOY meeting will get a grand prize from me. So we are excited. We'll continue the, the yes gift that they attend and they join, and then those with four or more guests this month. So 4th of July represents freedom. So does four or more joining your team or attending a joy. So we have everything you need. What I wanted to share with you leaders was what happened at our joy meetings, because they are working. Look at the month of April. These were our four weeks, seven guests, seven guests, two guests, five guests. Look how many said yes. This was our total attendance. We started out in the 30s. We had about average, I'll skip a bad week, but about 15% were guests that attended the join meeting. Out of the guests that joined, we averaged about 85% joined as a guest. In the month of May, I'm just gonna do the averages down here. We averaged 15 guests who attended. We had nine who said yes. We had an average of 70 attendees overall. That was 21% were guests again, and 56% said yes. So this is the best I've ever seen in our joy meetings, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. In June, we dropped. We had an average of six guests, four said yes, 60 attendees, 33% were guests, and 70% said yes. So if you think these don't work, they do. So I ask each of you, how many do you invite every day to a join? Those earning a laptop, here's their answer. We've got the training, we've got the opportunities. Fill in the gaps in your calendar where they might need more but this works. All right, so now, how do we help consultants succeed? How do we get them to 400? How do we drive our team sales and our own sales? It's still parties, ladies. 
and gentlemen, nothing's gonna change. We now have simpler parties, easier parties. We are doing them on patios. We are doing them at homes, in businesses, if it's allowed, and virtual text, Facebook, and more. We will feature this on our Wednesday regional meeting, always the first Wednesday. I will be spotlighting party holders as my main training. We will talk about and interview some of our new promotions and how to keep meeting more people as a result of that. So look at your calendar. How many parties do you have? How many team parties do you have? We will do more training on Wednesday, but this is key because at university, we talk about two parties a week, just like we did in the new consultant orientation. You've got to keep it alive. We can only tell them what to do, but you're the show me person. This month, summer smoldering party. What a hot buy and a hot party. Online, super simple. VIP going live on our future uh, uh, Facebook party. Look at the perfect pampered feet. These are our top selling items and we've got to keep training them how to have successful parties. Have them even do practice this month and do a contest like I did a couple months ago. I want to just share your coaching tools as you coach consultants and leaders. The IPA calendar is critical. Showing them the color guide to, again, learning, training, activities, and IPAs, income producing activities. Do all of your coaching and planning using this calendar and color coding. Remember what we said in new consultant orientation? Organization. Coach from tools already done. This is perfect to help them plan in a small group or a pod group, a coaching to get their calendar ready. How do you do it and how are you coaching? I love this tool. Next, other coaching tools that I will again add to the leaders unit. It's already there, it's in the four weeks to launch, four weeks to leadership, but this is key for you to use for you and with your district and consultants promoting to leaders. This is the best tracking because it's weekly actions and monthly goals. And the new sheet that we will post in Jaffer University, I showed today at orientation, is this con contact list and tracking their clients and their results and their conversations. So again, one other tool. Remember at orientation, we talked about the 100 list. This is our reference we're gonna keep talking about. And the 63 connections, this should be your weekly celebration and what you coach from. The goal is 15 a week with a bonus week of 18 somewhere. But this is so critical, don't complicate coaching. They need accountability, they need conversations, and they need to plug into those calendars where we have training and opportunities. The regional meeting, again, is really important that you invite people. I cannot invite people by email. I don't have two days to invite 9,000 consultants. The only way they know about it is if they're on the Facebook meeting, uh, Facebook Amber region or you. So this is you inviting your consultants. We're gonna feature, I think we have Denise Miller, Jackie Elves, um, I think we have Tina Foster. We have party givers that are gonna share some success stories. And don't miss, Denise Paxton is going to come show you what's new online to make sponsoring and tips for ordering so much easier. We already updated, but she's going to share with you and show you what's ahead. So don't miss this meeting. New time, 5 p.m. first Wednesday of the month. And again, the only reason for this, I'm not here reading the action, but Jaffra's got it all together here. When you go through this action, are you pausing at your monthly training, your weekly team time to show them what's happening at the Jaffra Biz Virtual Hub? Showing them how to go, look at the bottom of the, the action page. Again, how to go that all the assets from social.jaffra.com is now in the Jaffra Facebook album. They've got to go to the Facebook Jaffra Cosmetics photos. That is filled with so many photos that you can use in all of your online business. And again, we're excited. There's our beautiful Evelyn, um, who is already going to be our superstar tomorrow, working with your team and all of the Tuesday trainings alongside what we have in the region. So again, how do you bring the virtual hub to life?
How do you get attendees to everything on the calendar? And then acknowledge them with weekly recognition for attending. That's the key. VIP and QNC is next. Again, do you have goals for the number of VIPs that you have or plan to get to? That's critical for VIP follow-up and training, how to be a VIP or spotlighting your VIPs, how they have 400 every month, making it a big deal, who will, will be earning the tote, who's the new members, make this really special on your VIP groups. And our new launch of October reward, July, September, August, and September. So they must start at 400 this month to be a new member for quarter three, making that a big deal. Brainstorm, share those ideas in our WhatsApp group on how you're doing that. The key is the power of every five VIPs. If you have managers, are you acknowledging how many VIPs they have? Set a goal for every five. 10 VIPs is a $4,000 branch without yours. If you did a thousand, that's a $5,000 branch. That's what an ambassador is. With 15 groups, if they all did a little over 4,700, about 4,800, you'd be an ambassador. So again, we're gonna use this model in Jaffer University, but plan for it, have VIP time, and empower them to share live how they're succeeding. We have one more retention to get to 65,000 again this month. When you reactivate one or more inactive consultants, Remember the story is they have 50% with 400. You will get the bright, bold, and beautiful t-shirt to use for yourself or for recognition with your team. So today, how many eyes do you and your leaders have? P's, pre and active. Don't let them, they become a loss if they don't do their order this month. Stop the losses. As you saw, we had to do a lot of work because we lost 600. So we can't grow to 6,500 if we don't all work with the P's, the I's, the N's, and again, stop those losses. So focus on those letters early in the month. They might take weekly follow-up. Plan your power hours for those calls, your reach out plan, or half power hours for the new and the inactive. Those are critical. And sometimes, again, it's easiest to invite them to just come and shop. Do a shopping show each week with your team and your clients. Show them the hot deals from each category. Invite them to ask consultative questions and recommendations. Then email and massively invite people. Remember to take the book and say, what are the top best offers out of four departments that my team or clients most need to know about? What's new? So plan that communication. You can find that former list still. Remember, it's now 24 months. You can track your number of active, inactive, pre-inactive. Make sure your leaders know how to export their, to their Excel on their desktop so they can sort it and filter. That is so key. If you don't know how, we've been training for two years. Go into units and take the time to learn your reports. Really, really key that you and your district know this. Also, Remember to teach them virtual is the way catalogs work best. It's expensive, so people do limited catalogs or product brochures. Make sure they know how to quickly go into Jaffa Biz, go to eCatalogs, and again, they can share right there to all of their social media and email. Be again the trainer to teach them to fish. So our call to action is take a look at that brochure. We talk about five new products and exciting offers and exclusive offers only for July this month in the monthly business meeting we did last Wednesday. So take a look. Where do you have shopping hours for those clients and consultants and guests? Why not? That's an opportunity each week. Show the beauty, show the business, get some bookings, and have everybody do it together. That's where, again, even on your VIP groups, keep the story new and exciting. Remember, Jaffer gave you something pretty hot. That was just launched on July 5th, this Sunday. It's ending this Saturday. This is important right now to get this message out. Consultants love bonanza sales. The old bonanza's back. This one has bags, 
all sorts of products that are at very low prices for consultants that if again, they wanna get these at 80% off, that's up to them how they share them. But this is only, well, right before they're gone. Amazing for reactivation, VIPs, QNCs, and even early sponsoring. So look at the next five days, it really does matter. So that is your action planning, growing your team, growing your success. Thank you for joining us virtually today. We'll see you again tomorrow on Jaffer University on Tuesday for consultants if you choose to attend as a consultant or leader observing, and on Wednesday at a regional meeting, and Thursday, thriving on Zoom. So this now ends our recording.